In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Flow to create a Slack channel. Prior to recording this video, I've already connected my Salesforce user to Slack and I've created some fields to facilitate this. On the account object, I've created a Slack channel name field. This is my naming convention that I've decided to go with and ultimately it adheres to the requirements in Slack for a channel name. I've also created another field to store the Slack channel ID. This is going to be important later when I need to add users into the channel or perhaps I want to send a message to the channel. Both of these use cases will be covered in separate videos. I can also use this channel ID to determine if a channel already exists within Slack. For this use case, I'm going to create a Slack channel when a lead is converted into a new account. You can see here that I've got a flow called create Slack channel on lead conversion. The first thing you may notice is that this flow is set to run asynchronously. This is required because the flow is going to be calling out to Slack using an external action. Against our flow, I've selected the lead object and for it to run when a record is updated. This is going to run when is converted equals true and only the first time the record is updated to meet the conditions. And you can see that I've ticked the option for an asynchronous path. First up, my flow is going to get the record for the converted account. So using the lead, it's going to find the account by querying for the converted account ID. Next up, the flow is going to determine what to do. It should only create a Slack channel when one doesn't exist already. So it's going to check the account and look at the Slack channel ID field. If it's null, then it's going to go ahead and create the Slack channel. Otherwise, it will take no further action. If it goes ahead to create a Slack channel, it's then going to create a channel for the account. This is where it's important that you're already connected to Slack because you need to select the Slack app and workspace and I'm feeding in the channel name using the formula field that we created on the account object. And I'm going to set the channel to public. It's important to consider that this action is only actually going to create the channel. In a later video, I'm going to show you how to add users to the new channel. Now that we've configured this, we want to update our account so that the Slack channel ID is populated once the channel has been created. So we're using the output from the Slack channel action to update the Slack channel ID. Let's convert a record into an account and then press convert. Our record has now been converted and if I go to the account, I should see the Slack channel name has been populated using my formula and the Slack channel ID has been returned into Salesforce, which means our asynchronous path has ran. This doesn't actually add users to the channel. That will be covered in a later video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.